Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things weren't according to plan... <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why not I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come.
We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor. Ruining everything for everybody. Who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants?
it's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. No. We do it together. Son.
goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. I guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, that there was humanity in us, goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! You actually told a good story. But we missed it. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? 
How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs>